Hello everybody and welcome to Standard Legend of Zelda Master Quest Play. In this episode, we are going to be going to the Lon Lon Ranch as an adult. Now as you see, black clouds are billowing, which are not a good sign because normally that only happens around Castletown. But they're around the ranch, so we can't really do anything about that. Now, if we go to the ranch, we will see that Ingo is now kind of in charge of the ranch. And, well, let's go inside first. And, uh, kind of figure out things here. So, in here we have the stable, and if we go around here we find... Melon! Oh, a visitor! It's been a long time since we had a visitor here. Where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in the castle town have gone, places have been ruined, and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. If I disobey Mr. Ingo, he will treat the horses so badly, so there's nothing I can do. So basically, Talon has been kicked out. Malin is forced to work under Ingo because she loves the horses. And Ingo is trying to suck up to Ganondorf. Doesn't sound very good. And I'm not going to do that because I actually don't want chickens attacking. So, if we talk to Ingo here, we will see what's going on. There are some people in Kakeriko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and I'll ride. Okay, do you want to hear how to ride? Okay, I'll listen how to ride. And he teaches me how to ride. So, we could pick up this horse and ride, but there is a better horse. If we play Epona's Song, which we learned as a young'un, we will have... Epona come rushing towards us, and I would much rather climb this steed. Now, basically what we have to do here is, in the time limit given, we have to jump over all of these wonderful things and get our money back. There's another jump here too, I believe. There we go. And once we do that, well, it just tells me how to dismount. I uh, know I want to ride. So, we're just going to keep riding around Epona. Around a little bit. Oops. Kind of failed that jump pretty hard. Don't want to do that again. But yeah. The horse riding mechanic is a little bit different than in Majora's Mask. It feels kind of the same way, but it's, it's a little bit different. So yeah, basically you just kind of keep on riding until the time runs out. Hey, time is up. You only paid 10 rupees. You've been here long enough. So let's go ahead and pay him again. Don't listen. Thank you so much. He he he. And of course I'm going to call Lapona again. I don't know if it's possible to get him to acknowledge that you're pretty good at riding a Pona on the first try, but who knows. So now if we talk to Ingo on a Pona, he says, you're getting better. How about a little race with me, okay? A little wager 50 rupees. Okay. So wager 50 rupees and Ingo will challenge you to a race. Now the best thing to do here is to get ahead of him and then just let your carrots build up. Just kind of cut off his horse and don't let him ahead of you.
Just kind of stay close to him and keep cutting off his horse whenever you can. And then when you're close to the finish line, just burst ahead and win. And we won! Hooray! Now, he's not too happy about this, so shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation... Hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. So, now we have to beat him again. Now, this race is a little bit harder. And he kind of cuts you off here. But basically, the strategy is still the same. Go for the inside, and the moment you can cut off his horse, do it. There we go. To recharge your carrots. There we go. And then when you're close enough to the end, which I should be by here, go for the gusto. It's a lot easier than the race in Majora's Mask, but that's only because it's a lot shorter too, so... What's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot. Ha. As I promised, I'll give you the horse. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. So then he locks the door on you. Well, too bad for you. Epona can jump over walls. So let's go ahead and jump over the wall. Hiya! And we now have a horse. So crossing the field can now happen a lot faster than it used to. Which is wonderful. Because, well, you know, kind of sucked having to walk around everywhere. So, now that we are done with this, it's time to go start a side quest to give ourselves a bigger sword. And doesn't every adventurer want a bigger sword? So, we are going to quickly return to Kakeriko Village. This side quest takes a little bit of time, but it's not that big of a deal. So let's go on up here, and boop, poke into Kikara Village. Now, the quest starts talking to Anju, the uh, cuckoo lady who uh, asked, who gave us the bottle when we were a kid. So let's go ahead and talk to her, and she will give us. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You! You look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Yes. Okay, so we got the pocket egg. So, it hatches overnight. Now time can't pass in Kakeriko Village because it's not right. So we'll just go quickly go into a building. And then leave so we can create a point to come out of. Now let's quickly speed up time. Man, I hate this sea stick. I hate it with a passion. Okay. And now time should rise, or um, cuckoo should hatch. So now we're going to go back in here because the person we need to wake up is conveniently in this house. And that person is Talon. What, Tar Nation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Did you save Malin? Thanks. I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeehaw! So he has a bunch to say about Ango stealing the ranch and everything, but once you get a Pona, he kind of changes what he says. So, he awoken a very lazy man. So let's go back to Anju and tell her the cuckoo's mood. 
Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo if you're interested. Its name is Kojiro, and it used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming, so it's cute. Or it's so cute. Since my brother is gone, it's strange, but Kojiro has stopped crow crowing. Do you want to keep Kojiro? Yes. So we got Kojiro. You returned the pocket cuckoo and got Kojiro in return. Unlike other cuckoos, Kojiro rarely crows. Now we have to find Andrew's brother, because it's his cuckoo, and so he'll possibly be able to make it crow. So, this is where Epona comes in handy. Not so much now, because you need it to come in handy, but because, well... Yeah. So... Crossing Hyrule Field used to be a real pain in my neck before, because if you couldn't warp, you had to run, and running is extremely slow. But now that we've got Epona, Epona's basic run like this is already faster than Link's walk, and you can speed it up with the use of these carrots. So where are we going? We're going to the Lost Woods, because Andrew's brother is in the Lost Woods as an adult. Or, uh, since you're an adult. Oh, rats. Didn't quite get the turn good enough. Alright, we can't go into the forest with Epona, so I'm just going to quickly turn it around for when we leave. So we don't have to turn around after. Dum 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 bidum bum bum. Oh, I guess it's daytime or something. I don't know why there was a cuckoo from there, but... Anyway, Kokiri Forest is back to normal. It's all happy. There's no more enemies around. So, let's go ahead and go in here. And if we go over here... Well, I guess Kojiro is kind of guiding you the way. So, you know response, he's sleeping. Kojiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means you you must be a nice guy. It must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakerga Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay. So we got a mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakerko Village Potion Shop quickly. So, we have three minutes to deliver this to the lady in the potion shop. Now, this is impossible to do without a Pona. Impossible. You can warp to Death Mountain Canyon, but the thing is, it counts you walking up Death Mountain as walking. So, there's no way for you to get down from Death Mountain back to Kakeriko Village before the timer goes out. So, in order to make this time limit, you need to have Epona run across the field for you. Otherwise, there's just no way you can make it in time. Alright, let's go, Epona. Gotta return that mushroom. So, there's a lot of back and forth stuff here. So I'm going to cut out little bits of the quest, because lots of it is coming to and fro the same place sometimes. So, yeah. I won't be able to do the entire quest right now, but I will attempt to do as much as I can for now. Okay, so with only a minute gone, and we're already in Kakeriko Village, I think we've pretty well past this. However, it's night. I don't know if we can talk to the lady in the potion shop at night. Hopefully we can. Oh yeah, there's a light on, so maybe. But then again, that's just the way the texture looks. Oh, closed until morning. Bizarre. Only open in the day. How inconvenient. Good thing I have so much time left on my timer. Alright, now we're just going to quickly play the sun song. 
That would terrible be terrible if that sped up the clock. <laughs> and it's morning. Time to go back down. Okay, there we go. Now, this back door is closed off when you're a kid, but you can come back here now. And at that potion shop, next time we go back, I'm going to have a, a look at the uh, look at the things there, because it sells some pretty weird stuff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Okay, show her the mushroom. That bum, he had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give this to me now. Yes. And the lights go out. And then come back on. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. So we got a medicine. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. So, um, quickly before I jump cut to that guy, I'm going to quickly go into this potion shop. Because when you're a kid, or before you have the giant's wallet, or not giant's wallet, the adult's wallet, you can't really do anything here. And a lot of the stuff is kind of, you don't really need to buy it. But let's have a look. So let's see. Buy blue fire for 300 rupees. You need an empty bottle put in. You can get the giant's wallet by clearing 40 skeletulas or 50 skeletulas from the house, but we don't need that. A fairy. Green and red potions. And we have deku nuts. A po in a bottle. A fish. And a bottle. Or a bug. So you can buy pretty much anything you can put in a bottle there. Except for a blue potion. But not that you'd really want to anyway. So now we're going to quickly jump back to the Lost Woods and give this guy this potion. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, back in the Lost Woods. If we attempt to go find this guy, there is a Kokiri child here. Let's try giving her the potion instead. Or what does she have to say anyway? That guy isn't here anymore. Anyone who comes into the forest will become lost. Everyone will become a Stalfos. Everybody. Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Okay, well, here you go. Take this potion. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody. Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Only his soul's left. Hee <laughs> hee. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Yes. And she gives us this. He returned the old potion and got the poacher sod. The young punk guy must have left this behind. Hey, 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 are you gonna be too? Hey, hey. And no, I'm not gonna become a stealth host. I know my way out of the Lost Woods. So, now that we have that, we're gonna go to a new area to deliver this poacher saw to its proper recipient. Because it makes sense to do so. <laughs> okay, so going back to Epona. Huh, there we go. <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Don't want to run my horse into a wall. Okay, so we're going to go this way this time. And we are going to go to the Gerudo Valley, which we won't be going to until later. But for now, we're just going to quickly pop in to deliver the poacher saw to the guy we need to deliver the poacher saw to. <laughs> Oops, a little too high. into the desert we go and this is a desertus area so lots of sand lots of dry stuff now this you especially need a pona for because as you see the bridge is kind of out 
Now you can make that jump without Epona, but we don't have the item yet because we haven't been to the temple to get it yet. So, you can also do it without Epona with the use of glitches, but I'm not going to do that. So here we go. Yaw! And Epona makes the jump. Now this is the carpenter who is in Kakeriko Village. We give that to him. Hey, that saw, it's mine! But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My bigger on tool broke, so I was going to go on city to get it repaired. You are coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Yes. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway. So he gives us a broken Goron sword. Is it bigger on to get it repaired? Okay. So with that, actually I don't really need a pawn anymore. We are going to quickly warp. We're going to warp to Death Mountain Crater because that is the fastest way to get to where we need to go. Okay, now we just have to escape Death Mountain Crater. But we have to escape it not in the way to get to, um... Actually, I'll probably need that. Not in the way to get to Goron City, but to the top of Death Mountain. So we're going to go ahead and take that way that I told you you could go to as a kid, but kind of didn't really need to because... You didn't have the Goron tunic, so you would just burn alive anyway. So, quickly, whoa, jump across here. And then we have a ladder to climb. Hmm. Now I'm gonna, may as well get a heart piece while I'm here too. Quickly, there's a heart piece over there too, but we're not gonna get that one. There we go. Heart piece. And there's three pieces. So we only need one more for another full heart container. Which shouldn't be too hard. The more hearts the better in Master Quest. Because you never know what's gonna come out of your you know, come out of anywhere and kill you really. So now we need to go up here, which is the exit. And we never really came to the top of Death Mountain as an adult yet, so we don't really know what's here yet. But over here, we have a gigantic Goron. It looks like he has something wrong with his eyes. Show him the sword. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Yes. And we get the prescription. Go see King Zora. I've been waiting for you with tears in my eyes. Please say hello to King Zora. So with that, we can no longer do any more of this quest. So on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master Quest, we are going to be returning to our duty of, ow, of saving the world from Ganondorf by collecting the medallions and well, what better way than to check out how the Zoras are doing. So, whoa. See you guys next time.